Hey everyone, I know it's been a while, but it's Monique from Now You're Cooking, and today we'll be making a big old dish of Caribbean style macaroni pie. Now I know what you're thinking. Monique, this looks just like baked mac and cheese. Well, you're right, but the preparation is a bit different, and with a few extra ingredients. This is a recipe that I grew up enjoying for Thanksgiving and Easter dinners, and almost every Caribbean household has their own way of preparing it. You'll need about 450 grams of dried macaroni, but any tube-shaped pasta will do, four cups of grated cheese, cheddar mixed with mozzarella is a good blend, a couple teaspoons of salt for boiling the pasta, two cans of evaporated milk, two eggs for structure, dried thyme, grated nutmeg, smoked paprika, a medium-sized onion, two cloves of garlic, a scotch bonnet pepper for that spicy flair, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, Dijon mustard for that certain je ne sais quoi, and salt and pepper. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and grease a 9 by 16 inch baking tray. Set this aside for now. Bring a large pot of water to a boil. Add the salt and cook the pasta until it's al dente. This term comes from the Italian phrase for to the tooth. This means that the macaroni should be undercooked by about a minute or so. Slightly tender, but firm, because it will continue to cook in the oven later and you don't want a mushy macaroni pie. Drain the macaroni over the sink and run it under some cold water to halt the cooking process. The macaroni will continue to cook with the steam if you leave it in the pot hot. Again, we don't want a mushy macaroni pie. Return the macaroni to the pot as you prep the other ingredients. To save some time, you could do this step as the pasta is boiling. Finally, chop your onion, your garlic, and scotch bonnet pepper. Be careful when handling the pepper as it's very spicy. You could remove the white membrane and the seeds or only use half if you're too worried about burning off your tongue. I used the whole thing and it wasn't as hot as I thought it would be. Must have bought a dud. Melt the butter in a small saucepan over medium-high heat and saute the onion for one to two minutes. When the onions start to soften, add in the chopped or minced garlic as well as the scotch bonnet pepper. Continue to cook for another minute. Pour the onion mixture into the pot of cooked macaroni and stir everything together. The use of evaporated milk in this recipe lends an extra richness to the dish. Evaporated milk has about half of its water content removed. If you want to substitute it, use 10% or half and half, or for a lighter alternative, just use regular milk. In a large measuring jar, whisk together the milk, oh. eggs, not the shells, mustard, thyme, paprika, nutmeg, salt, and pepper. Pour the milk mixture over the macaroni and stir until it's well coated. A handful at a time, finally sprinkle in your big bowl of grated cheese. Make sure to save about a cup of it for the topping. One difference from regular mac and cheese is that a roux, which is a combo of flour and fat, isn't needed for this version. Grab that large casserole dish you prepared and pour in your macaroni. Spread it out evenly and top with the reserved shredded cheese, adding more if you like. Bake for 30 to 40 minutes or until the cheesy top is a light golden brown. Allow this to cool for about 10 minutes before you serve it, at which point you could slice it into individual squares. This is another difference from conventional mac and cheese. As much as I enjoy having a nice gooey mess of cheese and cream on my plate, you could just grab a slice of this one when it's time to serve. By using a few more ingredients from your spice cabinet, Caribbean style macaroni pie makes a hearty side dish that complements many meats and vegetable meals. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Leave a comment down below on your favorite style of mac and cheese. The full recipe can be found at nowyourcooking.ca and please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. 
I could be found on all the main socials, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for watching and see you next time.